the transplant program at LSU moved to Willis Knighton, uh, with Dr. McDonald, and when I finished my general surgery residency in 1989, uh, he needed some help, and so I stayed on uh, to do the, uh, the first couple of years of my transplant training with him here, and uh, that was for until 1991, and then I was off to uh, to uh, Baylor in Dallas for a year to train to do liver transplants. And I returned here in 1992 and have been here doing that ever since. The transplant program is involved, involves many other physicians, the anesthesiologists, the critical care physicians, uh, and beyond the physicians, all the nurse coordinators and social workers and dietitians and uh, a transplant program is not all about just the doctors. It's there are many other people in the, involved with the transplant program without whom it would not work. On the one hand, we deal with patients who need kidney transplants, who are most of whom are on dialysis, requiring dialysis several times a week. And uh, a, sub a subset of those patients also has diabetes, so they have their pancreas uh, doesn't function properly. Uh, so those, those patients will need both a kidney and a pancreas transplant. So it's, on the other hand, with the liver transplant population, it's a completely different set of patients. The so patients who have uh, liver failure have a whole other set of problems, and uh, over time, most of them, if not all of them, become very ill and very debilitated. And um, so to do a liver transplant on a patient like that and not only get them through the surgery, but the, the post-operative period and to see them go from being severely ill and debilitated to back to normal life after a while is, is a pretty good deal.